Wabarakatuh and very good uh, morning. Okay, uh, so today kita akan mana aku nak So today kita akan uh, buat presentation on computer edit manufacturing using SolidWorks. Right, so so uh, semua boleh nampak ke presentation saya? Boleh saya boleh. Alright, okay, so saya teruskan lah. Um, untuk computer edit manufacturing ni, so saya pakai SolidWorks 2020. Jadi uh, untuk SolidWorks 2020 ni, first of all, uh, kalau kita pergi ke new ni, Uh, go to parts Kalau yang tak ada lagi Bahagian SOLIDWORKS CAM Yang ini uh, Boleh dapatkannya di Kalau boleh op, uh, file Okay Ataupun uh, Click on yang Tabs Ataupun right click pada tabs di atas di atas feature tabs ni tiga tabs boleh klik on pada SOLIDWORKS SCAN ok right click pada tabs klik on SOLIDWORKS SCAN so kalau yang dah ada tu tak perlu lagi lah yang ini tak perlu SOLIDWORKS SCAN ni tak perlu SOLIDWORKS INSPECTION pun tak perlu just hanya SOLIDWORKS CAM sahaja cukup untuk nak gunakan SOLIDWORKS CAM so SOLIDWORKS CAM ni kalau kita contoh SOLIDWORKS yang yang kita biasa buat we, kita lukis uh, drawing and then once we have finished the drawing kita apply uh, pada machine and then kita use that machine to untuk uh, produce kita punya product lah So what we need to do today is kita akan buat dua benda lah for SOLIDWORKS SCAN The first one is to draw the using lead uh, mill Okay, yang ni saya akan keluarkan uh, word sekejap tu ni eh. okay, The first one is to first to use milling and the second one is turning alright so milling and turning so dua-dua ni kita akan kita pun dah biasa dah biasa tengok dah milling kita biasa nampak di CNC milling kalau biasa ambil subjek uh, mechanical technology lab uh, supposedly uh, memang ada memang ada lah kaitan dengan milling kalau turning ni, biasa ambil uh, lead machine ke? Lead machine BMM 1811 Memang ada lah macam mana nak guna uh, lead, lead machine Lead machine, turning machine And then uh, these two are the uh, The source of kita punya study today lah Macam mana kita nak gunakan solid work untuk belajar dua perkara ni lah Right, so untuk permulaan saya akan lukis satu blok okay, blok menggunakan the first one is to use CNC milling second one kita akan gunakan turning so sekarang ni saya akan lukis satu blok yang berkaitan dengan milling so very simple drawing top plane using a rectangle probably about a size of between 100 by 200 mm okay and then I'm going to extrude this about 50 mm so we have a block right we have a block and then I'm going to let's say to use the milling machine just to how to use the milling machine to drill a hole 
Okay, ataupun to mill a hole. So kat sini saya akan lukiskan satu, dua hole. Okay, first of all saya akan lukiskan satu center line. And then saya akan lukiskan uh, one square. Uh, dimension saya ambil lah. Uh, it doesn't matter about the dimension but I'm going to suggest one dimension lah. 15 for both. So to make it uh, equal on, on each side, I'm going to make it 25 for each size, for both sides. And then I'm going to use the fillet just to fill it on the edge. Okay, one fillet here. On every edge, I'm going to fill it. Once it's done, uh, click OK. And now I'm going to copy this into the other part by using a mirror entities by clicking on this mirror. Right, for each line. You can also uh, select all the lines and then I'm going to mirror it about this line. And that would give me two holes. Okay, two holes, and I'm going to use an extrude cut for about 40 mm. Okay, just about 10 millimeter below the center line. So this is what we call uh, our product. Okay, this is the type of product yang kita akan buat. Dan kita akan masukkan this product to a Masukkan this product to a milling machine To process dia lah So untuk nak buat benda ni Kita ada beberapa steps right. Yang pertama sekali Step, the first step is to First model the part in SOLIDWORKS And import the part, okay this is what we have done already Okay the first part we have done Change to SOLIDWORKS CAM Feature Tree Manager So we have done this, we go to the This is the Feature Tree Manager so, What you do is you go to the this is called the feature cam tree manager. Uh, dia akan keluar yang ini. Uh, this is what we call the feed cam feature tree manager. So that is completed. Next, we need to define the machine, change the controller and the parameter. So go back to this one. You click on this. Also, you can also click the SOLIDWORKS scan that you have come out yang keluarkan tu. Dia ada tulis kat atas ni define machine. Or you can just right click here and click on define machine. Both are the same. Alright, once you've clicked this out, you have one machine tab, tool grip, post processor, posting, setup, rotary and tilt. So, dekat sini saya akan show you how to use the machine, the tool grip, the post processor and posting. So, machine, we have mill machine which is a metric machine. The second one is the mill 4 axis metric, mill 5 axis metric and also we have a returning machine. The turning machine ni kita tak guna lagi. Uh, we will use it later. So click on select for mill machine. Below here is the machine information yang kita akan guna. You can change it to heavy duty, light duty. For this being, kita akan guna for medium duty lah. And then we select this. Dia akan change dia punya configuration. Okay, dekat bawah ni, dekat bahagian cam feature tree ni, dia akan change dia punya configuration. Dekat tool creep, if you click on the tab tool creep, <coughs> you can find that the available cool tool creeps already is the tool creep metric. Okay, you can also click. Uh, these are part of the available tool creep uh, metric yang ada. So, kamu boleh cari lah. Yang ni ada flat end ada. One is flat end. You can use um, uh, also 10mm or 12mm flat end. You can ha you have a center drill also. A ball nose, ball, countersink dan sebagainya lah. Fish mill dan sebagainya. Banyak lagi yang yang ada dekat dalam uh, tool creep. If you click on the metric empty assembly, dia is the same is the same point. If you have your own new tool, you can click on your new tool and 
draw your own tools yang kamu nak sometimes ada parts yang kita lukis mungkin tak tak cukup uh, tak sesuai dengan tools yang ada so kita pilih tools yang mana yang sesuai untuk kita so for this time being I'm going to stick with the same tool clip too and given all this flat and everything is enough for me to to use uh, this type of tools to drill this hole ataupun to mill this hole so select this one once you have done select this one you go to post processor you find that okay this is the process that you have you have uh, m3 axis tutorial these are all the processes that you have for milling okay uh, notice that tak ada lagi post processing untuk um, turning so you can just go and browse uh, this one dia ada dekat dalam kita punya library already sepatutnya lah kalau kita install kalau kita install uh, mostly most of the solidworks part you should have all this information lah kalau untuk mean uh, these are all the uh, dia punya post processing dia macam mana nak guna untuk beberapa type of uh, information yang diberi lah yang, yang ada untuk post processing at the, the moment saya akan gunakan M3 axis tutorial for this uh, tutorial okay I will select this one click on select and then the posting I'm going to use kalau kita dekat dalam CNC milling ni biasa kita gunakan four digits one 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 zero zero one okay contoh ha kalau this one is for program number one zero zero one one zero zero two dia dia always starts with one zero zero one Okay, mostly. Dekat bottom ni dia tulis part thickness. So, in order for me to make dia punya processing to faster ataupun lagi cepat, I'm going to use 40mm to make it fast. Okay. And the 5 axis arc deviation ni saya akan leave di behind, saya tak pakai 5 axis. So, I'm just going to click OK. So, that's enough for my definition of my uh, define machine. Next, once we have defined the machine, kita akan kena define the stock. What is the stock? The stock is this one. If you click on the stock, dia akan ber changing dia punya warna lah. So, to define the stock, you need, you can go to stock manager here. Right? Or you can also go to stock, right click, edit definition. So, the stock at the moment we have is a 6061 alloy, aluminium alloy. Now, um, there aren't many aluminium alloys available in this library. So, I'm going to stick with 304L. Jadi yang mungkin uh, much harder alloy lah. Kalau kamu, if you, if, you, if you search on the library, you can find this. The origin of the coordinate system, you click on origin. So, maintain origin dekat sini. And then, Stock size is 200 in length, x direction, in y direction you have 50, height, z direction, z direction is 100. So for bounding box offset, this one is called, kalau kita gunakan dia sebagai tolerance, eh, change it. So if you click on uniform x, you click on this one, you change it to 1 mm. Just to make sure that you don't cut. Okay, you don't cut precise. Sepatutnya kalau macam mana-mana mesin pun kita kena leave behind at least plus minus 1 mm lah. Just to leave it behind uh, before yeah, something that we don't want. Before we use rough surface, before we apply fine surface, we have to set at least 1 millimeter for rough surface. So we click on OK and that's defined, already defined for kita punya uh, defined stock. Finish all these four, we go straight to the machine feature AFR and IFR. I, saya lupa dah masuk AFR dan IFR ni apa. Tapi uh, the machine features that, I'm, that they are talking about is this one. You click on this, ex, uh, extract machine features ataupun you can go to this one. Okay, extract machine features which is dia akan automatically generate machine features for the solid model part. 
So you just click on this one, dia akan initialize. Ha, sekejap je lah sebab ada dua, dua rectangle hole, pocket hole je. So dia akan keluarkan satu, this one, this colored one. Kalau kita go to mouse, go towards it, dia akan hasilkan dua, two colored hole. And then if you click on the plus sign, you can see the rectangular pocket on the left side, pocket one. Then on the right side, pocket number two. So far the question. Dari sini memang ada yang tanya, daripada sini boleh generate G code, M code tak sir? Okay, memang boleh, memang itu tujuan utama kita lah. Kalau tengok dekat bahagian simulate toolpath post processing lah, ini akan generate G code, G code, M code lah. Ha. Ada lagi soalan? Okay, kalau tak ada soalan, kita pergi ke seterusnya. So kita dah create dia punya machine features once we have created this machine features dia akan keluar which part you want to <coughs> which part you want to mill So next step is to generate operation plan Di bawah generate operation plan, you go to mill part setup sini ataupun you go to up, up here pun ada juga generate operation plan. You click on generate operation plan. Ataupun mill part setup, right click, you can click generate, oper uh, generate operation plan. Uh, go back to this one, you click on this one, generate operation plan. Same thing lah. Okay. This one boleh and this one. So once you have done generate operation plan, dia akan pergi ke another feature tree manager yang dekat sini, dia akan keluar. Okay, this is all the yang dia akan buat lah. First of all, untuk rough mill kat sini, you click this one, dia akan keluar rectangular pocket. Right? Dia akan keluar rectangular pocket. The second one, rough mill tool, dia akan keluar rectangular pocket. The final one, dia nak buat rectangular pocket. So you can click on this one, right click. <coughs> you go to uh, display ke okay click on contain area you can check the new contain where are the areas you want to contain if you want to change the definition you just click on the definition and you find that this is the tool that you are going to use untuk buat ni it's kind of big okay so you can change the punya tools dia ni go to ball nose kalau kamu nak change dia punya ball nose go to hog nose same thing as ball nose Okay, I'm going to use flat end. I'm going to change the diameter to 15. So, dia punya the change of the millimeter will reduce. Tapi dia punya time taken for the machine to mill will be longer. Understood, right? Okay. And then here pun kita ada roughing dia. Dekat pattern ni, pocketing ni, kita boleh change. Sama ada kita nak tukar zig ke. You want to change to zigzag. You want to change to spiral out. Okay, so at the moment, this one, sebabkan saya nampak di saya punya material saya ada sedikit spiral, so I can change to spiral. So I click on preview. So the spiral will start from here, just above this. Okay, dia akan turun ke bawah, dia rotate. Once it's done, and then dia finish rotation. They can go to here and they can rotate and then they can finish. Okay. Yang uh, another posting optimize and so on. Uh, yang ni for this time being saya, I leave this out because this one uh, requires more understanding. It takes more time to do it. Okay, it will go, you will require more cam analysis ke yang ni which is in the final year ataupun third year you will learn this. But at the moment, saya nak ajar macam mana nak jerit ikut and ikut sahaja. So, I click on OK. So, dia akan tunjuk pada saya. Kalau saya klik yang ni and this one. Uh, this one and this one. OK, dia akan tunjuk pada saya uh, the process of that. OK, once you have done completing the generate operation plan. Now you want to 
adjust the operation parameter as needed. You have done, you can just adjust. Huh? Tadi saya pun dah buat adjustment tadi. Okay. Once you have done adjustment operation as needed, generate toolpath. Okay. Yang ni dah keluar, simulate generate toolpath dah, dah dah keluar dekat sini. You can also click on this right click and generate toolpath. Boleh? Um, just to find the generation of the toolpath. Sebab tadi kita ada change kita punya ni. Ha, this is the generation of the toolpath. Once you have completed the generate toolpath, you have, you can now simulate the toolpath. Okay. So, dekat sini pun boleh klik juga simulate toolpath or you can also go here and right click simulate toolpath. So, dia akan keluar satu box. Okay. Uh, below this display option, you you can set the difference. Huh? So, kita punya box asal kita macam ni. Alright. And then, uh, we're going to generate the toolpath. I'm going to use at least about uh, this speed fast and then you go to the navigation and you click on run and dia akan tunjuk ke kamu lah macam mana dia punya saya guna spiral tadi saya, saya ni they show you how to uh, use spiral okay. so if you if you want to click this to make this faster you can just click on speed change the speed to fast okay Okay. <clears throat> so far semua okay. Not bad lah eh. Tak ada masalah eh. Senang saja. <coughs> Kalau ada soalan boleh tanya saya dekat bahagian Kalau tak nak jawab, tak nak, tak nak bercakap pun tak apa Boleh tanya saya dekat bahagian uh, Bagian apa ni? Panggil, chat with everyone ha, boleh jugalah Nak tanya soalan lah tulis Kalau tak ada soalan uh, Ini sahaja Inilah dia di punya step yang diperlukan saja. Tak perlu not that many You can also rotate lah. You can also rotate and see the process. <clears throat> so, mula roughing. Once you have finished the roughing, they can clearkan all the roughing surface and then you go to rough fine. Uh, this is the rough fine surface. Nampak ada sedikit tinggal sikit. That's what happens when you use different types of uh, tools lah. <clears throat> okay, faham dah tu. Alright, so in the end uh, yang kita punya target kita adalah untuk ada uh, ada uh, correct, ada uh, toolpath correct. Of course lah uh, tak correct kan, no kan. So you go back, you adjust the toolpath, adjust the operation parameters. Go back to here, pergi balik dekat rough surface tadi, edit definition change the tools make it 20 okay, mm change it back okay, and then the roughing change it to zigzag supaya dia uh, dia consume everyone everything okay now you once you have done that click on okay okay and you go back to Simulate the toolpath, right? Once you have done generate to, and then you generate the toolpath first before you simulate. You go here, you generate the toolpath. Okay, once you have done generating the toolpath, you find the the toolpath already, and then you go to <coughs> simulate the toolpath. Right. Okay, kali ini sebab kita dah tahu dah, so I'm going to go faster. Now, uh, here is generating two part. Now you are you are you kita kita said okay now we look at it and we are satisfied right we are satisfied with the tool, tool yang kita guna and all the the holes are cut 
nicely, thoroughly. Tak ada something left behind. So we are happy with this. Yes, we are happy with it. Now we can go to the post processing, which is this one. Lah. Once you are happy with it, you click on, okay, let's say for this one, uh, I haven't saved it yet. So I click on part three, let's say uh, this tutorial. Lah. Tutorial one, tutorial one, mail, save at my desktop. <clears throat> and I'm going to generate the G code M code. Eh? G code. Click on play. And this is the G code that's been generating. And where can you find this? You go back to your previous tutorial mail, which is down here. Here is your G code and M code information. That's it. Itu saja.